Hello, welcome back to my R tutorial. And I got a question how to read data into R from um, external files. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I create a variable, I call it chess player, and I use this function to read a file into R read.table and here I specify the file and um, I have called the file chessplayer.csv and I can give more parameters for example if this file contains a header in this case it does contain a header and the separator of my data is is a tab so this indicates a tab okay <coughs> now I have read the data into the variable chess player and I print chess player on the screen and you see it's um, the current ranking list of chess players so it's um oh that actually was a mistake i read a cs csv file which is a comma separated file comma comma separated values are in this file and i said uh, it's tab separated so this was wrong i have to change the um i have to change the separator it's a comma so now I print the variable again and now it is correct the rank this is a rank column this is the name column title and so on and if you want to uh, just n now you can use this table of course and if you want to use just one column for example the rating you want to know the the mean rating so you can do it like that, that is a function for mean and to only use one column of your table you say chess player and then dollar and then the column name, rating so the mean rating is 28 2800 okay so this dollar notation is very important if you want to use just one column and this is how you can read a file with this function and you read the result in, in the variable and you have to specify the file name and you have to say if your file contains headers or not and to ha you have to specify the separator so I give you a look at the file actually this one this is the chess player CSV file and the location of this file is my working directory R where also yeah this is my workspace so I don't have to uh, insert a pass here. I can only uh, use the name, and I show you how this look how this file looks like. So it's just a normal CSV file, comma separated here, and this is a name. This is one value. It's uh, it's also a comma in in the name. So you have to uh, put it into uh, quotation marks here. And that's it. So, but what if your file is a uh, tab separated? I have prepared a file. This is a tab separated file. This is always a tab. So, if you want to read this into R, you use the tab separator with that. And uh, the name was dot tab. This file. Let's see. Okay. And uh, the function is read table, but if you, uh, you probably o uh, often will read CSV files, so there's a shortcut notation. You can just say chess player read and then CS, uh, CSV. And this is uh, the difference is that the parameters are set to default values. For example, here it's set to the default value comma so you don't have to specify so many uh, variables I think it's it's enough to say chess player 
dot csv in this case. Maybe you have to say header true. I don't know. Let's see. No, it's it's works. It works already. And uh, yeah. And oh, one more thing. If you want to know more about a function, any function in R, yeah, I show you how you can use uh, the help system. You say question mark, and then you type the function without any parameters, and then uh, your browser is started. And you get a, a help page, which is uh, located on your local computer. So description: this function reads a file from your uh, hard hard disk or from any location, and writes uh, the fields in a file in in a variable. So and here's the usage: read table, and then here are all the parameters you can give. So file name, file location, header is false by default. So if you don't specify a parameter, it's uh, the default values are taken. So 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 the default values false, separator, non-separator, quote, decim decimal point uh, is it is it a decimal is, um, character is it a point or a comma, and so on. So here is read CSV. So here the default values are different. The separator is comma. Yeah, header is true already. Here is it false. Here is it, it is false. So and you have uh, more shortcuts for different file formats. Okay, I think that's it. And then the next videos we can use variables we have uh, or tables we have read from from files. Thank you for watching.